today is the first time we've actually shown the car to the public. Um, it's our 2011 competition car to race a former student at the UK Vanity Silverstone. We spent the last uh, about four months building the car and it's come up to this day today. Most of it went smoothly. There's some things we had to change after we saw the designs and compared it to other parts of the car. Had to just tweak it a little bit, um, but overall the designs worked well and it came together pretty easy in the end. When's the race taking place? The 17th and 18th of um, July, so I've got a little while yet, sort of a, a month and a bit to do, do lots of, we haven't really sort of driven the car yet, so we need to get it all together and do some testing, make sure everything works well and uh, really get comfortable with the car and uh, get our drivers up to driver training as well for the event. How well do you think the students have done? Well, they've done a brilliant job now. We've got 1st of June now and the competition is now six weeks away and they have got a car which is basically finished and now they've got plenty of time to get it tested and make it reliable for the competition and hopefully do well then. What sort of tests will they be carrying out? Well they're going to go full track testing basically, they're going to do basically similar tests what they're going to do at the competition. For example acceleration tests where they have to um, well, speed up from standstill up to a um, certain um, velocity. Then they do a skip pad test where they go around a figure of eight and a well, circuit test so where they go around a little track. Our aim is surely to win the competition but it's probably a bit high this year the aim but um, we should be in a good position to finish top 20 but if we push hard we should be able to finish top 10. We're usually up, up against around 70 teams in the class at the UK events in Silverstone. Teams come from all over the world. Um, last year for instance the winning team was German. Last year we managed about um, 80 brake horsepower. We're hoping for slightly more this year because we'll have a little bit more time to um, to uh, map the engine. Acceleration is more important so the car's geared to do about 60-70 mile an hour top speed but it will get there in around three and a half four seconds. This year we're hoping to um, place maybe top 20. Uh, it really depends on how well the other aspects of the competition such as the, um, the design events and um, what they call static events go where we're marked not only on the dynamic performance of the car but also how good the design is because obviously it's an engineering competition.